G'day. Today I'm going to make a base plate for this plunge router so that guide bushings like this can fit inside the base of here. As you can see at the moment, it doesn't. I'm too mean to buy the proper one that goes in there from Makita and I don't think it's all that good for dust collection. So I'm going to make my own. Let's do this. Next level. now in the center there 
ready to go around the templates but I'm probably going to have to, well I definitely will have to, put some holes in this area here just to collect the dust, suck the dust up when I get a dust port to go on the rest of the router there. But I'll give it a try first just as it is, make sure it all lines up. So I've given this a try out before I put the holes in just to see how it went and as you can see it burnt a lot because it just couldn't anything that was cut couldn't get out and hopefully when that router bit normally runs it wouldn't burn like that because it was a $50 router bit, brand new $50 router bit. So now I'm going to put the holes in here so the dust can get out and then it will be collected hopefully by the dust chute which has arrived from Amazon because nobody in Auckland or New Zealand seemed to want to give a shit and order it for me. So they all ignored me or just couldn't be bothered. Thanks Makita dealers, nice one. So I went to Amazon, it wasn't meant to arrive for another week, got here in, what was it, five or six days? So quicker than I could have got one in New Zealand, hopeless. Anyway, enough ranting. So now I'm going to put some holes in here so that the dust can get out, so that it can then get sucked up by that thing. Next level. got my four holes drilled here I might need to put in another one in between each one we'll see how that goes I'll put the bushing back in and we'll try it out um, today's project van console and a little flower that's that's not me this is my wife's area this is her work area and she's making me something for my van so yeah I don't normally draw little flowers or anything just thought I'd let you know um, yeah, so the wife's making me something to put my drinks and my coins and my phone and that sort of thing in the center of my van. Thankfully, I have a fitting that fits over the new dust extractor port, like so, and then that slots over this 22mm one on the end of the dust extractor, although not the greatest fit, you know, these things aren't that great, these Makita connections, so probably have to put a bit of tape or something around that. And I'm a bit dubious about the size of this hole. I mean, that's massive. I don't see how the suction's really going to work that well. Um, so, we'll see how it goes. I'll give it a try. But I might have to make a cover that goes on here that has a much reduced hole in the center. Just something wide enough that the collet nut there can get through. As you can see, it didn't suck everything up, it sucked up quite a bit of it, but still left a fair bit behind. Might need to put a cover on the top of that, like I said. So, here's my wee prototype here. Just chuck some tape over, cut a hole in it, and I'm going to see if the suction and dust collection is any better. That appeared to work nicely. Much better suction. Hasn't even stuck to the tape really. Got it out of the letter T and the letter L perfectly. No dust left it at all. The U here, the bottom part of an O, still had the dust in it when I did it. I don't know if it was just because I was going in a different direction. Instead of going that way, I was pulling down. Maybe. Anyway, that certainly worked a lot better as I thought it would. Um, 
just got to work out a way of making a permanent one of those but I think that's enough for this video so thanks for watching make your own base much better than the Makita one could um, perhaps put another few holes in here between just to see if I can get a bit more dust collection just might put a these are 15 mil holes as you saw I might put a say a six or eight mil hole in between each one as well thanks for watching guys very versatile little router this and it has lots of different bases check them all out I'll put links down in the bottom to all the bases and the bushings and all the this thing and all that sort of stuff so you can check them out if you wish thanks for watching I will see you on the next one